I guess I paint because, yeah, because I enjoy it, like because it was with me since I was a kid. And then also because it's a way for me to like really be in touch with the world and reality and stuff that affects me. Like I can, it's a way that I can actually express the life that I'm living and like re-solidify ideas and all these different things that are going around in my life. It's really hard to describe what I do because I try and do different things. Obviously I do a lot of details I guess. People kind of know me for all my technical stuff and all my details but you know I do characters as well. I do a lot of Bode stuff. For me I guess it's the details people kind of know me for. Because I really enjoy it. One, it's my hobby, and two, it is my career. And the fact that I enjoy, I enjoy it so much. And just what what the can can do, and what you can do, and just see how far you can push it, is like a constant thing that keeps me going. A lot of my artwork is just influenced from like the people I meet, like places that I go, like life experiences. Because I paint people who it is to me and like what was going on in my life at the time that I just chose to paint them is usually like a story that I can remember, can file back when I look through old paintings. It's interesting in itself, so it also brings me back. It's just like a little memory landmark, each one in a way. I've been doing graph for a long time. I guess the turn, like 2010, for me, I just kind of just wanted to change everything, stop what I was doing, just start doing something completely different, take a new look on how I was approaching it and everything. And I think 2010 was a really big year for graffiti as well. Like a lot of people were doing a lot of crazy stuff, you know, like uh, the Australians came out of all that next stuff like Askew Burst and all those guys, obviously Soffles. Yeah, those guys kind of changed it and everybody was really pushing different stuff at that point. So that was kind of a, a crazy year for, for graffiti, I think. I'm just focusing on like aesthetic and compositional value, trying to like learn what I like about things and why I like a head positioned in whatever tilt, whatever way light is hitting it. Why is that more intriguing or less intriguing? to the eye, you know? I never give up if I'm not liking it because you can, you have to turn it around and make it work. But it's very rarely that I get the mid-piece crisis where you just end up totally freaking out. I haven't had that for a while, touch wood. Yeah, I think you've just got to battle through and make it, make it work because it's, it's your work, you're doing it. And if, you, if it's not working, just change it and make it right. I guess like in a way I'm constantly learning, but it's like a, you know, it starts to plateau in a way that like is, is kind of comfortable because yeah, maybe say something with your art in more of a way or like really like develop a style that's you, you know what I mean? looking back on my paintings and this is like a completely different style than I'm painting now and like blah 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 and like I don't even agree with all these things so now might be approaching the time that I want to develop a style and like say something with what I'm painting. 
because I think like it's important to leave something behind in that way. I guess I wasn't really sure like if I really wanted to be an artist when I started. I just really enjoyed drawing and I really enjoy capturing life, natural beauty and shit like that. I've talked about art and stuff. I'm still not necessarily there yet. I'm still like learning all the time and I uh, could be like completely, have completely different ideas in a few years. Like I have no idea. I've only, you know, painting and stuff for however long. So in 20 years from now, I could have a completely different view. I have no idea how to know that in advance, but I think that could also be a good thing. I think the best advice I, I got given was it, it takes as long as it takes. You know, my mate, dead crewmate said to me, you know, if it takes a day, it takes a day. If it takes five days, it takes five days. And that takes a lot of pressure off you. You know, it's, it's not a rush. Rome wasn't built in a day. So if you want to do, do your best work, it's going to take, it takes as long as it takes.